Everyone is part of a bigger story. It's a bigger story than you can imagine. It's a big story about a really big God. Discover the story that shows you the character of God. Hey, I'm Caleb, and this surprising bit of awesome right here is actually my Bible. All 66 books of the Bible fit together to tell one big story of how God thought us up and then chose to love us so deeply that he made a daring plan to rescue us, even when we turned away from him. God's love for us is so wild and strong, it's beyond imagining. He made us in his very own image to reflect to the world around us who he is. That's an amazing act of creativity. And I've got five stories to show you what it can look like. We get started in the beginning. Genesis chapter one, verse one. Here, God takes the blank canvas of nothing and creates everything. Using his words alone, God calls into being day and night, the sun and the stars, ivy and whales and ostriches and koala bears. And then he gets down in the dirt to shape his most personal creation of all. Next, we head to the New Testament. Give it a second. <laughs> okay, here, the Apostle Paul writes a letter to the believers in the church at Ephesus. He reminds them, we are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. When God made you, he also gave you incredible gifts and set up unique ways for you to use them. We can see that in action back in the book of Esther. Man, we're flying all over the place today. Here, Esther is a young Jewish girl who's unexpectedly won a new role. Queen of Persia. But the king doesn't know her true identity. So when a powerful royal official plots to wipe out all the Jews, Esther's gotta think fast, trust God, and use every ounce of imagination for such a time as this. We find creativity on display in the book of Mark too. Back to the New Testament. Here, we meet a man who can't walk. His four friends know the one and only answer. Jesus. They carry the man straight to the home where Jesus is staying. But there's just one catch. The whole town has arrived and there's no way inside. It's time for the four friends to think outside of the box to get inside the box. See what? <laughs> time to wrap up in the book of Matthew. Here, Jesus has some creative names for his followers. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. Let your light shine so others can see the good things you do and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. If you follow Jesus, you've got what it takes to show others the way. You've got a unique story to tell, one that will point people straight back to him. Just imagine all you can do because you're made in God's image. That's true creativity. And I can't wait to see how it plays out in you and me.